Hello everyone, Melvin here with a one-to-one -one chat about what to main in Legion. Um, some of you who may have followed my channel so far, um, you may have noticed that I've played a lot of the Windwalker Monk. I played a lot of Balance Shooter, I played a bit of Red Paladin, I played a bit of Armors Warrior, I played a bit of the Rogue. In fact, I played every single class, not every single spec, but every single class. Um, I've spent at least half hour to an hour on every single class, predominantly the DPS specs. Um, I will be doing more testing over the coming weeks. Um, because now is a great opportunity for you to find your main in Legion. The PTR is up, it's free, it's open to everyone, you can copy your characters. Please, please, please go to the PTR and try out your class. If you play a mage on life and have played a mage for the entirety of Walls of Drano, feel free to jump on the PTR and try out the mage changes. You'll be pleasantly surprised, you might be even shocked. I want to speak to you today about how I'm going to find my main, because I have no idea. I have, like many of you have, a full roster of level 100 characters of varying specs and types, predominantly horde based. I've spent a lot of the end game of Warlords of Drano playing a Brewmaster Monk, um, which is a class I picked up in the beginning of the expansion. When I came back to play with friends, we didn't have a tank. I jumped onto Brewmaster because they were a new class, it was all very interesting. Um, I was then shuffled into the ranged DPS role, beginning with a Hunter, and then onto a, uh, a Balanced Druid, which I played for predominantly 18 months of Warlords of Drano um, in my Mythic Reading team, part of Intervention on the Maelstrom. At the end of the expansion, I came back to play with different friends and more friends, and I ended up back in the tanking role and went straight to my Brewmaster. Now, the Monk is a very special class to me, and it's very strange, actually, and the justification for this is going to be piss poor, it's going to be wet. But when I quit WoW originally, um, during Cataclysm, I found it very boring, I wasn't interested in the end game. didn't really like the lore of the dragons and Eltharion and all that, because um, I'm a big lore nerd, I love lore, I need to be tied into the lore. I gave up on Cataclysm, concentrated primarily on PvP with my rogue, stopped playing until near mid halfway through Pandaria maybe, just after Throne of Thunder was released and before Siege of Ogrimmar came out as a tier. And me and my friends came back and we'd all taken a break at this point. We we were complete noobs at the game again and the class that interested me the most was Monk. I saw the Pandaria release and went, huh, <laughs> pandas? Jack Black, what are you fucking talking about? What a waste of time. What, a, what an absolute cash in. But I was wrong. Pandaria is possibly my favorite expansion so far. Maybe, it might even be Legion. Right, like I said, I haven't played that much of the Legion beta. But Pandaria so far is my favourite expansion. The lore, the music, the j just the general feel of the place. It's gorgeous, the raids are fantastic, except for Heart of Fear, because nobody fucking likes that. But the Monk, to me, in my opinion, is the class that I, I, I've always wanted to play, because they're underrepresented. No, people don't play Monks. Very rarely do you see three or more monks in the same raid. Um, I've got great experience playing a monk, both Windwalker and Brewmaster. You might have seen my stream from last night, where I completely failed during the Mistweaver artifact question, and even died during it. I've said before, I'm not a healer. I'm not interested in healing. I am a terrible healer. I'll leave that to the other people. I'm a tank and DPS primarily. And Brewmaster, the changes to Brewmaster in Legion, although subtle, are fantastic. They might not be great on the charts, they might, be, might not be great on the logs, they might not even be, be great in general, they might not be your go-to tank. If you've got a mythic team and a brewmaster and two demon hunters, you'll probably go for the demon hunters, and fair to you. But as of right now, I don't care. Legion is my opportunity, and should be many of yours, to break out of the stigma of, I've been the tank in my raid for the past six months. I want to play DPS, but I can't. Do it. Fuck it. This is my opportunity to say to you, the casual, even to some of you hardcore players, fuck the team, play for yourself. I've been the guy who's for been forced into a role he wasn't a big fan of, and doesn't like it. Yeah, I might have done well, I did Blackrock Foundry Mythic Progression, did some Hellfire Citadel uh, Mythic Progression, didn't enjoy it. I got loot for a character I wasn't even interested in playing, but I played it because the team needed me. Fuck the team. You pay your £10 subscription, you play it the way you like. And if you want to play any class, be it any class, do it. Don't let anyone make you. Don't, don't let anyone push you into a situation where you have to play a Holy Priest because Holy's numbers are higher. It's a lot harder in the Legion beta to keep up two specs. That is ground rule. It is very difficult. It's not difficult. It's 
very frustrating to keep two specs up to par. Now, are you going to do your dailies in Shadow? And then keep all your artifact power for Holy? Because you're jibbing yourself, then. And this isn't this isn't a rant. This isn't a, a shot at all the raid leaders out there. Because I, my, I myself have been a raid leader. I understand the pertinence of having a structured raid team. But this is the opportunity in Legion to try out different things. Use the PTR. Try out all the different classes. I hated Shadow Priests for a very long time. I went on the PTR. I tried run out. I enjoyed it. Not as much as I'd say enjoyed the Boomkin, because I've played a Boomkin for ages. But I enjoyed the Shadow Priest. The PTR's free. You don't even have to have an active subscription. You don't even have to own a Blizzard game to play on the PTR. You know, it, it, okay, admittedly, it's a large file size. And, you know, you, it might be different from what you're used to now. The, the options are different. The interface is different. All that sort of shit. Just get used to the class. I mean, Storrow is a great example. Guys played a DK since it came out. Main, the only guy I could say 100% mains a DK. The Scourge runs thick in his blood. And he's played every class but DK. He, said this, he even says, this is my opportunity to try out classes I wouldn't normally play. And I urge that to you. Find your main. Go on the PTR. Fuck around. What else are you going to do? Sit in your garrison? I think I've seen more people on the PTR than I have in, in a number of combined weeks on a number of combined servers. On live. I'm predominantly looking at the following specs. Windwalker and Brewmaster Monks. Boomkins and Feral. Arms Warriors, Assassination Rogues, Fire Mage and Arcane Mage, and Holy Paladin. Holy Paladin? Holy Paladin. Because why not? Because this is my opportunity now, being the PTR and the Legion Beta, to try these different things. And I know you should use the PTR and the Legion Beta to test things, to bug reports. Yeah, we all do that. We've, I've sent a few bug reports of little shitty things. A major one I found of the Shadow Priest and Bee Gees, which literally broke the game for me. I submit to that as a bug report. But ultimately, what are we all doing? We're all just fucking around trying things. Because this is our opportunity to. So heed my words. And please use this opportunity to try out different things. If you've played nothing but a shaman for the past god knows how long. But you've always been interested in an, in oh, in a paladin. But you've never been able to because you've got to level a paladin. There's no spot on your team for you. There's already two paladins in the guild. Oh, there's not going to be any plate that drops me. Fuck that. I say fuck it. Personal loot is stronger in Legion. You get a lot more personal loot. You get a lot more loot in general. Use this opportunity. Go to the PTR. Get a hundred paladin. Do the Everbloom normal for a laugh. Just see if you like the feel of it. No, the numbers aren't great. The numbers aren't fantastic. BGs are horrendous right now. But use it to your advantage. This is how I'm. This is how I'm. I am finding my main. As a guy who's played WoW for almost ten years, I've played every single class, and the only classes I've considered my mains are Brewmasters, Rogues, and Boomkins. And I haven't got a clue what I'm maining at the minute. I've got a list as long as maybe thirty different specs that I want to play, and I've played about twenty-five of them in depth. And I will be updating the channel with videos. But to you, the average, casual, maybe hardcore, maybe in between, maybe you, you like raiding but can't every week. Chill out. It's not the end of the world. Legion is going to be fantastic. I can 100% guarantee you, Legion will blow your fucking mind. So just take the time, spend a few nights with friends on the PTR, make yourself some really good new characters, swap your roles around, maybe run some dungeons. You can't do much on the PTR in terms of Legion progression, but you can still try things. You can duel your mates on the shores of Westfall for half an hour to make the point. It's great. The Legion invasions that are sometimes on the PTR are even better. I've never seen WoW so populated in the past five years than I have on the Legion beta and on the PTR during these invasions. Masses and swarms of people. And it's a great time for you to try out your class. How does my class work? Also, Try out the transmog system. Copy your characters. Try and test how much char how much transmog you actually have on all your characters. First thing me and Storo did, we copied all of our characters, and then we just went to town on the transmog system. I think the first night um, I got on the Legion beta, and the first night the PTR was released with the beta with the, with the Legion update, me and Storo spent the entire night, about six hours, just looking at Mog, seeing what we could do, and it was fantastic. Now the case in point. Why do I want to main a monk, maybe? Because monks are different. 
monks are they're not rogues they're not demon hunters they're a bit they're a bit bland in the sense of they're not exciting they're not you know they're not holy paladins they're not the they're not the earth shattering shamans they're not the the scourge of the death like the death knights they're not they're not these huge homunculus great people monks are just ex slaves trained in the art of war to fight against the people that the people the mogu uh, and that's why monks really resonate with me because they're just such a simple class and in legion they are simple your rotation is five buttons probably more than most classes but the class order hall feels and looks fantastic you're on shenzin zoo the wandering isle all the artifacts are steeped in lore and mystery you know shailun the staff of the mists that is emperor shao hao's staff and even though it was only recently added to the game that's lore that's story that's depth and to me as a lore heavy player and i just hit my pop shield shit as a lore heavy person who looks for the law and the story in these games monk is the class that is i'm probably going to main for a lot of the expansion i will dabble in other classes i will try other classes but it's going to take a lot to convince me otherwise assassination rogue came close earlier today boom kim came close the other day i haven't tried out hunters i'm not interested in hunters but i'll give them a try because it why not it's an it's it's, a, it's an evening of my time where what else would i be doing my time walking weekly my heroic dungeon weekly my garrison what else would i do I, I i beseech you i pray to you use this opportunity to find your main it's hard it's difficult but it's worthwhile because you'll be prepared in legion because it's difficult to keep multiple characters going at the same time difficult to keep multiple specs up at the same time this is your opportunity i've said this word so many times it's lost all meaning to myself now this is your opportunity to test, to try, and to find that niche that you like. And if you want to play Resto Shaman, and you have played Resto Shaman for the past six years, there's nothing stopping you. Just try out the differences. I was very, very surprised when I played the new Windwalker, because it hits hard. The AoE is insane. Storm Earth and Fire plays totally different. You know, the, 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 the Prune has made class some classes completely different. It hasn't to others. Windwalker, I think, survived the Prune, but the playstyle is still... It's got different nuances. And Brewmaster's the same. Brewmaster's entirely different. Gone are the guard days of old. You know, we're not a mitigation tank anymore. We're a huge damage suck with low health pools. And it takes all getting used to. So arm yourself. Arm yourself with this information, this knowledge and experience before Legion hits. So that when your friends come back and they haven't played, they can be shit, you can be amazing, and you can have your big dick on a plate in front of them and say, look at my big fucking dick. I did the research. I chose my main. I'm not swapping mains halfway through Legion because I did my fucking time. What are you doing? You boosted a priest? Or why are you leveling a druid for? Do it. Find your main. Or find your mains. But do it now. Peace!